welcome. It's gonna do a quick cupping for Journeyman Coffee. So let's get started. All right, so we are gonna start, we're gonna label all the coffees that we have going and then we'll get that set up, get them ground, portioned out, and then we'll start from there. All right, so we're gonna be measuring out 10 grams of all the coffees. So let's get the Brazil up first. All right, now that everything's weighed out, we're gonna go ahead and grind them all up and then we'll go from there. All right, so now that we have them all pre-ground, we're going to go ahead and give all of them a smell. We'll discuss and then we'll go from there. Make sure you saturate all the grounds. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna break the crust and see what it smells like. That's good. Okay, so now that we broke the crust, we're gonna let them sit for another few minutes and then we'll go ahead and scrape the top of them. Let them sit for another few minutes and we'll go ahead and taste. All right, now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna scrape the crust. All right, so right about 13 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, and taste now. So we'll start. <laughs> and the reason you have that slurpy motion, you really wanna aerate it through so you can taste the full flavor of the coffee. All right, that's good. Okay, so now that we went through, cupped all of them, uh, it's where the discussion happens, so we'll talk about what we liked, what we didn't like, what we feel could be improved. Personally, I thought the Ethiopia, the Brazil, really good, really solid. I felt the Colombia tasted a little bit underdeveloped, so the next time we roast that, we'll take it a little bit longer, uh, give it some more heat, hopefully let the flavor shine through. Made a new espresso blend, 40% Brazil, 40% Ethiopia, 20% Colombian. It was really nice, probably my favorite and everybody else's favorites out of the five. Okay, so now it's been a little bit past 16, 17 minutes. As the coffee cools, we're gonna wanna taste again because it'll take on different profiles, have a different flavor. So you really wanna make sure we're tasting it at all stages, seeing if anything changes, what happens to the flavors, the profile, how it differs as the coffee cools. So now that we finished all through, uh, it was a really good cupping, really learned a lot from it. And basically it's something roasters do every, every week, even earlier than that, you could do it two, three times a week, even every day after you roast, um, which would be ideal because you can taste the differences in your coffees, whether you have the same roast profile, or you're trying something different. This is just one way that roasters keep it really consistent. Thank you.